Hello. Welcome, we're gonna be doing the second chapter of our first playthrough of Undertale. This video is going to encompass the events of Toriel's home. Unfortunately, something really bad that happens to Toriel in my playthrough, I had no idea this was going to happen. I feel super bad that I accidentally did Toriel dirty. We're gonna do another playthrough. I promise to make up for this. I feel really, really bad about it. And it's also going to encompass a first react to Papyrus and Sands. I'm really, really excited. I'm really, really sad about what happened to Toriel because Toriel seems like a mother figure to me. And I really, really loved how they made her pat our head in the game and hold our hand. And just, I really love how they made her space so nurturing and comfy. And I feel so, so bad for what I accidentally did to her. But we're gonna do another playthrough in the future where we're not gonna repeat those same events, but it is what it is. We also got to meet Sans and Papyrus. I think I like Sans the most. I'm actually gonna be doing a cosplay of Sans, a zero dollar budget cosplay build tomorrow on stream. So while you're watching this video, you've probably already seen the cosplay or you're watching it during the stream. So uh, I'm really, really excited. I really, really love Sans. Should I cosplay Papyrus? Who's your fave, Sans or Papyrus? Let me know. But without a further diddly do, we're gonna go ahead and dive into this first react. Ooh. I like this. You know what I want to do when I hear this? You know what I want to do this? Good night. Just kidding. It's so comfy. You smell that? Surprise! It's a butterscotch cinnamon pie. Oh my gosh. I thought we might celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here. So I will hold off on snail pie for tonight. Here, I have another surprise for you. You made me cry. This is it. A room of your own. I hope you like it. There's something about the way she grabs my hand and leads me that just makes me feel really comforted. I don't know what it is. The, the animation of that? Is it just me? Room of your own, I hope you like it. He was head pass. Ah, I'm such a sucker for head pass. Is something burning? Make yourself, oh no! <laughs> Did she burn it? Aw. What does our room look like? A red room. I wonder if there's like any particular symbolism about why the rooms are different colors. I'm curious now. Did someone else stay here? Box of kids' shoes and disparity of sizes. Did she? Did she have a child before us? Okay. Okay. All right. 
That's adorable. The rest of the page is filled with jokes of a similar caliber. I do love how uh, this character, owner of this room, is very punny. It's an encyclopedia of subterranean plants you open to the middle. Typha, a group of wetland flowering plants with brown along seed points. Known more commonly as water sausages? What? Oh my gosh. I love it. I, uh... I know quite a bit about gardening because my mom and I used to do it with each other a lot growing up. And we have this, um, tradition that I've kind of kept alive, but I have this little, um, netting mechanism uh, that has a lot of caterpillars in it and I have milkweed in there because milkweed is a plant that um, butterflies eat on and what we do is I um, I've kept the tradition alive because I live with other friendos now but I got my milkweed plant and I got a bunch of caterpillars hanging from the top of the net and when they hatch, they turn into these really beautiful monarch butterflies and I set them free. And it's really, really cool. Because um, the little cocoons uh, that they they encapsulate themselves into often have like gold on them. Like it's really pretty. I'll have to show you a little picture. I think I've shown a picture before, but I can definitely take a picture again and show y'all. It's really, really cool. But I just thought of that while, you know, I don't know, I was talking about like plants. So. <laughs> Random plant tangent. <laughs> Random plant tangent. So cool though. I love the puns. I love the plants. I think if... I think the character, the mom-like character in here, I would get along with her really well. Because it seems like she really likes plants too. Yeah, she's a plant right here. There's so many plants here. They're beautiful. Room under renovations? Me. It's you. Look at that nerd. <laughs> Look at that nerd. What a little nerd. Hello. This place is so big. Is this the door outside? No, I want to go explore more. What's down here? It's a big house. It must have been read many times. These books are worn. Nothing beats a good book. Uh, the atmosphere change. Did you feel that shift? I don't like this. I don't like I think you should play upstairs instead. What are you hiding down here? I'm gonna go back down there again. Is she gonna do the same thing? It is dangerous to play here. One more time. <laughs> it is drafty here. You will catch a I want to go exploring! You can't just tell me I can't go this way and then say all these things. One more time. Yeah. She keeps making up all these excuses. It's dusty here. You will catch a cough. It is really creepy. One more time. I keep saying one more time because I want to see all the dialogue oh, options. Let's see. There's nothing to see here? I don't know. It's fine. She really doesn't want me going in there. Hmm. Up already, I see. Um, I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There's so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favorite bug, hunting spot. I've also prepared a curriculum for your education. This may come as a surprise to you, but I have always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps that isn't very surprising. Still, I am glad to have you living here. 
Oh, did you want something? What is it? When can... Uh... Hmm... When can I go home? What? This... This is your home now. Um... Would you like to hear about this book I'm reading? It's called 72 Uses for Sales. How about it? I wonder what happens if we try to exit. Um, how about an exciting snail fact? Did you know that snails have a chainsaw like tongue called a radula? Interesting. attacks we retreated far far into the earth we walked until we reached the cavern then this was our new home which we named home as great as our king is he is pretty lousy at names hmm. now hear me out what if the flower is foreshadowing something What do you think? And what if the flower is foreshadowing that we can't trust anybody anymore? No matter how kind they are. But I'm just, I feel it in my bones. Like something's really, really wrong here. Why is there a deserted bedroom? I get a bad feeling, a really bad feeling. <laughs> this is a massive fire. Brand name chocolate bar in the fridge. Hmm. There's some white fur stuck in the drain. I don't know. I think I could still tackle that pie. Me too. It looks good. I would eat it. <laughs> Cookie cutters for gingerbread moths. What? The stovetop is very clean. Fire magic was dead. I got a bad feeling about this place. Where'd she go? For you. Where are you? Did she go down here? Can we go down here now? I'm still trying to go down here. You wish to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. A one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I'm going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. Now be a good child and go- No! 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 <laughs> Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I have seen it again and again. They come, they leave, they die. You naive child, if you leave the ruins, they will kill you. This is gore. I'm only protecting you, do you understand? Go to your room. <laughs> I like flirting with danger, okay? Do not try to stop me too bad. I like to flirt with danger. <laughs> this is your final warning? What do y'all think we should do? Do you think we should disobey her? I think rules were meant to be broken. I don't know. I was kind of a rebel growing up. What do you think? I feel kind of sassy. I kind of want to. I kind of want to see what she does. The hell with it. We going. <laughs> you want to leave so badly? Hmm. 
You are just like the others. There is only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you are strong enough to survive. Ah! <gasps> We're fighting her! We're fighting mommy. than I thought. How could you? She kidnapped me! She kidnapped me and brought me down here! I just want out! She kidnapped me! Listen to me, small one. If you go beyond this door, keep walking as far as you can. Eventually, you will reach an exit. Don't let Asgore take your soul. This plan cannot be allowed to succeed. You good? Won't you? I didn't know that was going to kill her. I didn't know. I didn't know. I had no idea. I didn't know it was... I... I had no idea that I was going to kill her. Now I feel terrible. I didn't know. I didn't know. <laughs> no. <laughs> Why would you do that? Oh my god. <laughs> no. I had no idea that I was going to kill her. Now I feel terrible. Oh my 
my gosh, I had no idea. I had no idea that was gonna kill her. I guess we're gonna do another playthrough of this <laughs> to see what the other options are, because holy crap. Let's see. What is. It's like going for an eternity. you like your choice after all it's not as if you can go back and change fate in this world it's kill or be killed that old thought she could break the rules she tried so hard to save you humans but when it came down to it <laughs> she couldn't even save herself what an idiot <laughs> I hate, I really don't like this game now. I think it's, it's just, it's just, I don't like, I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. By Toby Fox? Is this by one developer? I didn't know that. I don't know anything about this game. I didn't look up anything. This is a truly blind playthrough. I don't know anything. I don't even know who made this game. Like, that's how blind this playthrough is. Why is there a camera in the are bushes? Are Pikachu? Because you're shockingly beautiful. People are watching us? What the hell? I didn't trust her! There was fur in the sink! Emotional damage! There was fur in the sink. I thought she was like, and she wouldn't let me go downstairs because it. We'll play through it again and it'll have a different. I'm sorry, y'all. You what? Oh, don't get mad at me, please. I mistrusted her because I trusted the flower at the beginning. It was nice to me and then it was mean. So I figured, okay, she's nice to me. So she's got to be mean to me, right? But no, maybe I just messed up. I don't know. <laughs> Oh, ma'am. I mean, that's fair. I don't like this. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, this is honestly kind of triggering right now. <laughs> it's a little triggering because as someone that has bipolar, Sometimes I'll get audio and visual hallucinations, especially when I'm manic. And um, it's a little embarrassing to talk about, but there's a lot of times where I will be home alone and I'll hear things. Like I'll hear the door opening, but it's closed or stuff like that. So like just seeing that kind of scared me a little bit. I'm really open about it here because there's a lot of stigma against it. I'm really open about mental health here. I talk a lot about it. I talk a lot about it here. Okay, we got this. Oh no. It's getting louder. Oh no. Are you kidding me? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> you gotta be kidding me! It was 
scary though. It was scary. What happened? Yo, this game is trolling me. I don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about this. I'm being trolled! He he the old Ubi cushion in the hand trick! <laughs> it's always funny! Anyways, you're a human, right? That's hilarious! I'm Sam! Sam's the skeleton! I'm actually supposed to be on watch for humans right now! <laughs> but, you know! I don't really care about capturing anybody! Now, my brother, Papyrus, he's a human hunting fanatic! Hey, actually, I think that's him over there! I have an idea! Go through this gate! Thingy, okay? Yeah, yeah, go right through it. My bro made the bars too wide to stop anybody. What? Quick, behind that conveniently shaped lamp. Lamp thingy. What's up, bro? You know what? What's up, brother? Then I say, then you still haven't recalibrated your puzzle. Yeah! You just hang around outside your station? What are you even doing? There you got this lamp, it's really cool! Do you wanna look? No! I don't have time for that! What if a human comes through here? I wanna be ready! Yeah! I'll be the one! I must be the one! I will capture a human! Then I, the great Papyrus, will get all the things utterly deserve! Respect! Recognition! I will finally be able to join the Royal Guard. Yeehaw! <laughs> People ask to be my friend. I will battle in a shower of kisses every morning. <gasps> Maybe this lamp will help you. Sans, you are not helping, you lazy bones. All you do is sit and boom double. You get lazier and lazier every day. Yeehaw! <laughs> Hey, take it easy. I've got a ton of work done today. A skella. Done. <laughs> These buttons, what the heck? <laughs> what? <laughs> I love it. Sands! Come on, you're smiling! I am and I hate it. Ugh. Why does someone as great as me have to do so much just to get some recognition around here? Wow, sounds like you're really working yourself ragged down to the bone! <laughs> I will tend to my puzzles. As for your work, put a little more backbone into it. Yeehaw! <laughs> How's that? Yeah! <laughs> okay, you can come out now! <laughs> that was a lot of fun. <laughs> you gotta get going, he might come back, and if he does, you'll have to sit through more of my hilarious jokes! But is that really a bad thing? Because I kind of enjoyed them. I, I kind of enjoyed them, just saying. What's the hold up? Look, there's nothing to be afraid of. It's just a door cavern filled with skeletons and horrible monsters. Nothing at all. <laughs> I don't know. That sounds kind of terrifying to me, sir. I don't think I'm ready for this. Actually, hey, hey, it's bother you, but can you do me a favor? I was thinking, my brother's been kind of down lately. He's never seen a human before, and seeing you might just make his day. Don't worry, he's not dangerous, even if he tries to be. Thanks a million, I'll be up ahead. Oh, I love that so much. This is probably my favorite track so far. I'm a sucker for, for strings, for violin. And piano. So beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> 